Another question that um, I often, or another difficulty that uh, I can encounter is that some people, including some scientists, mischaracterize the argument for design and they argue against the straw man instead of arguing against the, uh, the argument that I, that I put forward. And a good example of this was a number of years ago, there's a scientist at Brown University named Kenneth Miller. And he said why this irreducible complexity argument that Behe presents means that you have a system with a number of components and none of the components can be used for anything else. It can only be used for what's uh, for its purpose in that system. So if you think of, say, a mousetrap, then he says the spring in the mousetrap, according to him, uh, can't be used for anything else, or the wooden platform can't be used for anything else. And he made a, a kind of a show of using the mousetrap as a tie clip, you know, with the, the spring and the, and the holding bar and so on. That was cute and all, but it was very misleading because that's not the argument. You can, of course, use the pieces of an apparatus for lots of things. You can use it for a paperweight to weigh down papers so they don't get blown away, or you can use a mousetrap as a doorstop. The argument for irreducible complexity is not that you can't use the parts for other purposes. It is that if you take a part away, the system does not work. The mousetrap does not work. You may be able to use it as a tie clip without the holding bar that will hold the, uh, will hold the uh, hammer in place until the mouse comes along, but you can't use it then as a mousetrap. Its mousetrap functioning is broken. And there's a number of other problems with that, but one of the big problems is, as I said, is that people mischaracterize, and there's, there seems to be a strong desire to misunderstand these arguments. And some, another problem, uh, one last problem, is that some people, including some scientists, say simply that they will not consider any answer that it does not involve just matter and energy. It's just materialistic. They will not consider purposeful design because they uh, see it as pointing outside of nature. Uh, and you can't have a discussion with a person like that. And unfortunately, there's uh, too many of those folks. Um, and so they slow us up. 